Explain generics in C-sharp. When and why to use them in real applications? This is a very, very important question from interview perspective and even from usage purpose in real application. Let's start with the definition. Generics allows us to make classes and methods type independent or type safe. Now, what is type independent? Let's first see the code. See, this is the code. We have a calculator class which have a method r equal and it checks whether two integers are equal or not. If equal, then it will return true and if not, then it will return false. Okay. Now, inside the main method, when we will call this r equal method like this, since r equal is a static method, we can call it directly, right? Otherwise, we have to create the object, the same thing, okay? Now, here we are comparing 4 with 4. It will work and execute properly without any problem. But then, this second line where we are sending is, is strings is interview and happy in parameters will not work because these are a strings and our r equal method only accepts integer parameters. So this will not work. This is a problem, right? We need a method which can compare any type. So how to solve this problem? How to make a... So now you know what is type independent. Like this is type dependent. It is integer. It's, it's a like type dependent. So now our generics will make this thing type independent. So let's see how to solve this problem and how to make this type independent. So now for that one approach is replace this r equal method with a new method like this here we will accept object as the parameter in the r equal method this will first convert integer or a string to object and it will then compare the object values and then return true or false this will work and solve our problem but the problem with this is it involves boxing and unboxing okay because it is converting value type to reference type integer to object that is value to reference this will impact the performance so this is not the best way the other way is to create a separate r equal method which will accept a string parameter and compare strings right uh, basically to create overload of this method which is again not the best approach because number of lines of code will increase okay now this is our way and that is generics now let's see how the generics will make this type independent so first to making see the code here first look at this r equal method and the alphabet t inside angular brackets and the parameter of type t in this way we have to make our r equal method as a generic method generic means now this method can accept any type t is any type here okay let me show you how it will accept any type see the main method here this com uh, the this commented is the old code okay right now instead of calling method like this we will call the generic method like with this type name inside the angular bra brackets after the method name here the type is int then when it will call the method this will pass integer as type and here the t which is type is accepted as integer now if you want to compare the to a string like other other than integer like a string then we will set the type as a string like this then the method will accept t as a string and then it will compare the strings in this way same method same r equal will handle both integer and a string comparison i hope now you understand how generics will help you in creating methods which are type independent or type safe now remember t is a type here you can use any other alphabet uh, also like other than t like xyz but t t somehow relates to type and mostly in application we use t only so you should also use t only now we will see how to make the class the generic like this is method we make the generic now we will make the generic class okay see the code here here instead of method we will put t in angular brackets in front of class itself and in method we will only accept parameter as t now when you will call r equal math from main method we will call like this this time again we are putting the type in front of the class not in the front of the methods this will also do uh, do the same output will also function the same way class will receive the string or integer type then it will compare as per that 
बट देयर इज वन बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग जेनरिक विद क्लासेस एज कंपेरिजन टू मैथड्स एंड दैट इज इफ योर क्लास हैव मल्टीपल मैथड्स लाइक दिस देन इंस्टेड ऑफ पुटिंग टाइप इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी मैथड यू शुड पुट एट वन प्लेस एट द क्लास लेवल ओके सो देन इट विल बी बाई डिफॉल्ट अपलिकेबल टू ऑल द मैथड्स सो दिस विल मेक योर क्लास ए जेनरिक क्लास विच इज द बेटर वे राइट सो नॉर्मली इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल्सो वी मेक क्लास जेनरिक्स ओके नॉट द मैथड्स दैट इज बिकॉज वन इज दैट बेटर सो आई होप नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज जेनरिक वेयर वी यूज द जेनरिक्स इन आवर एप्लीकेशन हाउ जेनरिक्स आर सेविंग मेकिंग द मैथड्स टाइप इंडिपेंडेंट हाउ जेनरिक्स आर नॉट यूजिंग द बॉक्सिंग एंड अनबॉक्सिंग हाउ दे आर इम्प्रूविंग द परफॉर्मेंस सो डैट्स इट अबाउट ऑल अबाउट द जेनरिक्स Thank you.